Amen. Thank God. John the 18th chapter. Thank you. Oh, yeah. He's a good God. Boy. Hallelujah. I guarantee you, you feel better. Amen. Thank you, God. Thank you. You're crying the folk on Facebook. Oh, that means you just want sympathy. You don't want strength. All right. All right. Amen. You get sympathy from Facebook, but you get strength from crying out to God.
and the summertime. Mm -hmm. We'll put the thermostat on 60. Mm -hmm. All right, all right. Mm -hmm. yeah. But in the wintertime, if the house was 60, mm -hmm. you'd put the thermostat on 80. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 80 was too hot in the sun. Yeah. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> wow. In a text, uh -huh. let me just give you the set. All right. This is uh, the night that Jesus was betrayed. Hey, I'm not, I'm not, right. not only betrayed, but arrested. Mm -hmm. And given a mock trial. Uh -huh. And um, the setting takes place in Jerusalem around April. Some folk would wonder how could it be cold in April? Uh -huh. all right? Particularly in a region such as that. Uh -huh. But the reality of it is that this was in the night coming toward early morning. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I'm trying to assure you that even when I was in basic training, mm -hmm. uh, we would get up so early in the morning, and I was in Fort Knox, Kentucky. Uh -huh. And we would get up so early in the morning, you'd be almost freezing. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. But by 12 o'clock, you want to take off anything that they would let you take off because you're about to burn up. Yes, come on. We hadn't moved the change location. That's the same spot that was freezing that morning. All right, all right. It was too hot that afternoon. Yes, sir. When Jerusalem sat below sea level, uh -huh. and this was a place where. Uh, in the night, mm -hmm. no matter how hot it was that day, yes, sir. in the night at certain periods of time, it got cold. Mm -hmm. And I'm just talking about the weather or the temperature uh -huh. outside. All right. But it's important to talk today about Peter. Mm -hmm. And let me assure you that Peter is dead. Right. Yeah. All right. Amen. And so while I'm talking about Peter, uh -huh. just for the day, let's just call ourselves Peter. All right. Yeah. Yeah. All right. All right. You ain't got to change your basic picture, <laughs> change your ID, but, but let's just call ourselves Peter yeah. so that we can better understand what's taking place in the gospel. Amen. Amen. Jesus, who been with these disciples three and a half years mm -hmm. teaching them not by reading books to them uh -huh. teaching them by example yes. Yes. Right. Right. showed them how they should live All right. knowing that soon his time would be up and that they then would have to live lives that were pleasing to him. Mm -hmm. yes. He said, uh, by this shall men know that you are my disciples yes. by your love one for another. Yes, Praise the Lord. Yes. And in our text, it helps us to back up a few scriptures. So that we can see how Peter got to where he was. All right. Yes, yes. In the, uh, Matthew, the 16th chapter, mm -hmm. All right. mm -hmm. Jesus uh, was on the coast of Caesarea Philippi. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And he asked the disciples, Who do men say that I am? Yes. They began to say, some said that you Elijah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some said you Jeremiah. Uh -huh. Some said some other prophet. And so that wouldn't just go on. 
it wasn't a survey that he was really trying to take. So he point blank asked them, who do you say that I am? This is a very important question that was not just important for the disciples, but it's just as important for you and I. Because, listen, it doesn't matter who men say he is. It doesn't make him not be who he is. You don't have to be what people say you are. Amen. Y'all ain't saying Amen. Just because folks say something about you don't mean you got to live up to it. Amen. I don't care who said it, when they said it. You understand that. If somebody, if I heard somebody say I wasn't going to mouth to nothing, y'all ain't saying nothing. I'm not going to just sit there and let it write the truth. Amen. Amen. That's going to encourage me. Uh, it's by me to do all and be all that I can be. Amen. Amen. Jesus asked them point blank, who do you say that I am? Yes, it was Peter who got it right this time. And said, thou art the Christ, the son of the living God. Praise the Lord. Everybody is going to have to come to that realization. That's right. Amen. Everybody is going to have to make that confession. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't believe who he is, then you won't be able to get what he has for you. Right. Why he says, without faith, yes. awesome. it's impossible to please him. Yes. Yes. Uh, they that would come to him got a faith believe that he exists. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek after him. In Matthew the 17th chapter, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up on a mountaintop. And there they Literally, figuratively, and spiritually, mm -hmm. have a mountaintop experience. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't care who comes just to look. <laughs> Make no matter who came just to say that they had come. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. When I come in this place, I desire a mountaintop experience. Yeah. Yeah. I desire not just to feel better, but also to be better. Yeah, that's right. Cause some folk can feel better and be worse. Y'all yeah. understand me? All right. I, I don't just want to feel better, but I want to be better. That's right. Yeah. No, I, I know last Sunday I missed him all. My Lord. Since he brought me back this Sunday, yeah. I want to be better. Y'all right. understand? Yeah. Right. And you can't wait to. Next time it start. But 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 before you leave this place, yes. uh -huh. you gotta make a resolution. Uh -huh. For God I live yes. and for God I die. Yes. Amen. A, a good mountaintop experience. Mm -hmm. Amen. I think it's safe to say Peter was far from being cold. Uh -huh. Amen. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. In John, the 13th chapter, right. verses uh, 30, 36 through 38, uh -huh. mm -hmm. Jesus was trying to serve and tell his disciples. Uh -huh. Y'all, say something. I'm going yeah. uh -huh. to. <laughs> I'm trying to uh, serve and tell his disciples. Yeah. That he was held uh, to Jerusalem to die. All right. All right. And he said to them specifically that I'm leaving y'all. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have to leave y'all. Yeah. So that the Son of Man can be glorified. Uh -huh. They began to inquire about where he was going. Yeah. And Peter asked the Lord, Lord, where 
Are you going? Yes. And I want to go with you. And, 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 and Jesus said, where I'm going, you can't go now. Yeah. All right? Amen. He said, you can't follow me now, but you'll be able to follow me after a while. Yeah. 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 And Peter went on as the protest saying, why can't I go with you now? All right. He said, I will lay down my life for your sake. That don't sound like somebody that's cold. That's All right. Right. Amen. Jesus said, though, to him, yes. God will not crow yes. till you have denied me three times. Yes. Don't, don't read too much into that. He was just saying, before they break. Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. You're going to be the, denied me three times. My Lord. And Luke tells it, gives that when they were at the Passover meal, this is Luke the 22nd chapter, uh -huh. that uh, in the 31st verse, Jesus specifically says to Peter, Simon, Satan desire to have you. Yeah. That he may sift you yes. as sweet. Yes. 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 And Jesus took care to make sure that it was understood mm -hmm. that the devil can't do nothing yes. to you unless he got you. Y'all right. oh, ain't yeah. saying yes. I can't forget about before I went in the army, they had posters everywhere all through the school. <laughs> The days I went, I saw him. And the poster had a man with red, white, and blue on the top of it. And it says, Uncle Sam wants you. Yes. You know what I'm talking about. And they acted like Uncle Sam wanted me. I was going, I mean, I, I, let me tell you this. I was going to go in the Air Force. And I had taken the test and scored pretty good. But the man gave me an application and with just a tad bit of exaggeration, it looked like he was thick as his Bible. <laughs> and he told me, go and uh, fill this out and come back and I'll talk to you. And uh, I took it home and I still don't know where it's at. <laughs> Army recruiter <coughs> came to the school right after that. Mm -hmm. And he had recruited my brother the year before that. Mm -hmm. And he said uh, that uh, why don't they go in the army? Mm -hmm. And I said, well, I really want to go in the Air Force. Mm -hmm. And so he got the application and he filled it out. <laughs> and I said, well, I ain't trying to go in the army, but if you guys insist, you can come and talk to me. So he come over to the house up there about 3.30, and about a quarter to six, I was on a bus head in my gun. <laughs> <laughs> and at that point, it still seemed a lot. <laughs> like Uncle Sam wanted us. Right. <laughs> oh, you could go for that. And I was uh, 17, and you could go over there and wasn't no parents, <laughs> wasn't no supervision. <laughs> Put you up in a nice hotel. <laughs> you could fall in love three times. <laughs> Buy your steak dinners. Yeah. Come pick you up and get your old t-shirts and hats and stuff like that. Mm. And they would always say, Uncle Sam wants you. Yeah. yeah. And you know, uh, in high school, um, I knew I wasn't gonna be the Valley Victoria. <laughs> 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 mm -mm. And, but I thought I was kind of popular.
brother for some other reasons. <laughs> and, uh, I was L.B. Gibbs. <laughs> Told me that I have a round one. <laughs> and, uh, and they knew that's who I was. Mm -hmm. Everybody knew. <laughs> and I flunked in ninth grade. I had classes with, with people in every grade. <laughs> and, uh, and, uh, but the day that I got on the plane to go to Fort Knox, Kentucky. Mm -hmm. I'll never forget how things changed. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. I was, they had us, uh, they'd give us our uniforms and while we were waiting on our classes to start, the hell's outside picking up cigarette but They call that policing, doing police call. You got right. And uh, sometimes I had to use the bathroom. Oh, no. And, uh, <laughs> so uh, I knew I couldn't just go. And I saw the fellow about that tall. <laughs> he does get a good book from being a midget. <laughs> and, uh, I don't know, I, I just didn't know no better yet. And I said, hey man, I got to pee. But I didn't want to be picking up nobody else's cigarette. But. And he told, oh, he said to me, do you realize who you're talking to? You're talking to uh, Eli in the United States Army. L.B. got lost the name, I mean. <laughs> I wasn't L.B. Gibbs no more. I was Private Gibbs. <laughs> Amen. So now, Amen. And what I learned real fast was that Uncle Sam wants you until he got you. That's right. That's right. That's right. Now, you may not have been in the army. I guarantee you, you know somebody like Uncle Sam. Y'all know All right. Somebody who can talk some sweet, smooth talk till they get you. And all that stuff done went out the window. Oh, you know the flowers they done sent to you. Y'all ain't saying All this sweet stuff they would tell you. As soon as they get you, start treating you like mess. We always want what we don't have. Amen. Amen. Jesus was trying to tell Peter that this is how the devil is. Uh -huh. And sometimes what's really silly, we didn't been with somebody for a long time. And we finally break all the way up. And they come back with the same. <laughs> so I do you remember? I'm preaching. Jesus told Peter, the devil desire to have you. Yes. That he might sip you. As sweet. Yes, sir. He did not just say the devil want to sip you as sweet. Mm -hmm. Because if the devil could have done right. it, yes. right. he wouldn't have had to have a desire. Right. Right. All yeah. 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 He, he, what he's saying is that, that, that the devil won't have a Job experience with yeah. you. Job did, uh, the devil did not just attack Job. He had to give an account of himself to God and he had to get permission from God in order to attack Job. Y'all ain't saying that. And even when he did that, after he took all his cattle and all, all his sheep and oxen and, and his family had died, and, and after all of that, the devil still comes to God talking about Job. And the devil says, Job just worshiping you. First he told him to call all this stuff he got. Yeah. 
You got a hedge around him. Yeah. Man. Who wouldn't serve you with all this? And I beg the devil, for devil. I know some folk who got way more than Job had. Y'all ain't said that. And they still won't worship God. Yeah. Yeah. Stuff and rain don't make people worship God. Sometimes it makes people not worship God. Y'all ain't said that. And, and, and then after that, after that didn't work, he took everything from him and stripped him. The devil comes back to God concerning Job and said, Yeah, skin for skin. Will he give in exchange for his life? My Lord, my Lord. You know what I'm talking about when somebody trying to rob you and you sitting here trying to hold your pocketbook while the gun at your head. Y'all ain't saying that. If you want your life, you just let them have the pocketbook. You can give another pocketbook. Y'all ain't saying that. But if you're dead, you ain't going to need that one. <laughs> he said, the devil... Y'all, I'm not, I'm not by the end. Now, the devil <laughs> desire to have you yes. that he might uh, sift you as weak, tear you apart, yes, shred you to pieces, yes, yes. take your joy, yes. and leave you out in the cold. Amen. Don't fool yourself. John 10 and 10 still say that the thief come, but to steal and kill and to destroy. But I am come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. And isn't that not that's that, but the scriptures say that, that Jesus said that if the good man of the house had known what time the thief was going to come, he would have guarded his house and not suffer loss. But these don't make appointments, y'all ain't saying that. They don't tell you to meet them at a certain time. I remember my house was broken into and I, while I was at Bible study, y'all ain't saying that. They, they, they sat in the backyard and watched when I left out the front show. And after a few weeks, they knew what time to get out of there. Yeah. Hmm? They didn't do it while I was there. And I wouldn't recommend <laughs> that they do it now. Because you get in my house, I'm going to have to shoot you and my dogs. <laughs> that he might sip your ass sweet. Mm -hmm. But Jesus didn't leave it there. He said, but I have prayed for you yes. Yes. that uh, your faith fail not. Yeah. That he prayed that his faith don't fail. Right. He did not pray that his strength don't fail. All right. He did not pray that he was had power. He said he prayed that his faith did not fail. Yeah. Yeah. Then he says, and when you are converted, yes. strengthen your brother. Yes. Peter thought that he was high. Right. He responded and said, Lord, I'm ready to go to prison and to die with you. Yes. Peter thought he was high. Yes. But Jesus again told him, the cop ain't going to crow. When you denied me three times. Yes. Sometimes we can think that things are a lot better yes. than they are in our relationships with yes. God. Uh -huh. Y'all ain't saying much. Yes. The devil will cause us to think that we are hot or mm -hmm. uh, that we all that. Yes. When we really are out of the cold. Yes. This, this, this text gives us that Peter was not just cold on the outside, uh -huh. but he was also cold on the inside. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus, who he had vowed to follow, uh -huh. who he had promised that he was ready to go to prison and to die with. Uh -huh. yes. 
That's something to say when you think you can't die. That's right. right Amen. That's something to say by somebody who you done seen raised the dead. That's right. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Something to say about somebody who you seen them come to rest before. Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And they were not able to take him. Mm -hmm. Think sometimes because you didn't have a good Sunday. Because yeah. you didn't read a couple of scriptures. Mm -hmm. right. Come on. Sometimes we can think we hot <laughs> and all together. All right. mm -hmm. But the text said that when the Jesus was and the disciples were over the brook of St. John, mm -hmm. where there was a God. Right. Right. This was a place where Jesus had often resorted to pray. Uh -huh. yes. There came Judas, one of his disciples, yeah. with a band of soldiers, officers, and the high priest. Yeah. Uh -huh. right. And they had uh, lanterns and torches mm -hmm. and swords. Uh -huh. yeah. Came looking for Jesus and Jesus asked them who you're looking for. Uh -huh. yeah. All right. And they said Jesus of Nazareth. Yes, yes. Jesus said, I am he. Yes. Uh -huh. And the Bible said they fell backwards. My Lord. Uh -huh. And for some crazy reason, they got up yeah. and he asked them again, who are you looking for? Yes. They again said, Jesus of that. Yeah. And he said, I am he. I told you that already. Yes, sir. And he said that if it's me you're looking for, then let these my disciples go their way. Because yeah. yeah. he had already, he said that the saying might be fulfilled that I lost none of them that you gave. Yes. yes. The Bible says Simon Peter had a sword on him. Yes. And he quickly taken it and cut off the ear of the high priest's yeah. sword. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. And Jesus told him, put that sword in the sheath. Yes. <laughs> Cup that my father gave me, I'm able to drink it. Yeah. Yeah. Not only that, he said he said he didn't live by the sword, to yeah. also die by the sword. Yeah. If I can say that another way, you live or you die the way you live. Amen. You all right, sir? Amen. Amen. You die the way you live. So when you die, don't 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 look for people to come and write a different story. All right, all right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right now, people will lie on you when you're living. And life for you when you're dead. Yeah. 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 But once you leave this life, it ain't gonna matter what man says. Right. The only thing that's gonna matter is what God says. Yeah. Yeah. Bible said it, band the captain and the officers and the Jews took Jesus and tied him up. All right. And led him to Annas' house, who was uh, the father-in-law of Caiaphas, mm -hmm. the current high priest. Mm -hmm. Annas was significant because he was their high priest before the appointment of Caiaphas. Yes. They then still looked up to him and knew that if they needed a crooked way to get rid of Jesus, yeah. he would know how to do it. Right. Yeah. Bible said they took Jesus mm -hmm. and most all the disciples fled and left. Yes. Yeah. And Jesus and like Peter, the Bible said, follow from a distance. Yeah. I want to tell you something. Don't let no distance come between you and God. Yeah. Because the more distance that come between you and God, the colder it's going to be. Yeah. I don't care if you go to the hottest place in the world. There's a cold world without Jesus. Peter, who had been with him 
now for three and a half years were following from a distance. Yeah. The Bible says so did that other disciple. Now down to John, it says, was known to the high priest. Yes. And he went in with Jesus. Yes. And under the understanding that they didn't want them, they only wanted Jesus. Yes. Because the scripture said, if you uh, smite the shepherd, yes. <laughs> then the sheep will scatter. Yes. Yes. They didn't have to bother with the sheep. All right. They just need to get rid of the shepherd. Yeah. They arrested Jesus and taken him before Annas. Mm -hmm. After which time they carried him to Caiaphas. Yeah. The Bible said when Peter stood at the door on the outside, yeah. some of us came in the building, but in our heart, we still on the outside. All right, all right. Oh, yes, sir. Come on. Yes. Some of us are here, but we're not here. Yeah. I'm trying to stay spiritual, but the songwriter said, Your body is here with me. Yeah. <laughs> but your mind, I ain't gonna do me that, but your mind is on the outside. something in this place and yeah. you trying to remember if you cut the pot off. Y'all ain't saying God, God trying to do something in this place and you watching the clock. Yeah. Worried about you going to make your next appointment. Come on. Yeah. Don't follow him from a distance. Yeah. Don't stand on the outside. Right. Bible said that the young girl who kept the door uh after John told them, hey, that's, that's Peter, he, you can let him in too. Mm -hmm. Come on. Bible said the young girl kept the door, uh -huh. said to Peter, aren't you one of this man's disciples? Yeah. <laughs> and he said, I'm not. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It all began with one lie. Amen. Yeah. yeah. The thing about lies, they never stand alone. All right. All right. You understand? Right. Yes. Lies don't ever stand alone. Mm -hmm. My brothers talk about one of our uncles said when he lied, he don't ever finish it. He just leave it, daddy. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. 
Yeah. All right. Now let me uh, <laughs> tell you something about this life. Mm -hmm. It really was unnecessary. Amen. Because right. right. after all, John was with Jesus too. Yeah. Yeah. And John didn't try to hide. Right. Yeah. But John wasn't the one that said, I'm ready to go to prison. Right. All right. All right. All right. Now, there was no imminent danger from confessing that he was with Jesus. Yeah. Mm -hmm. right. I told you they didn't want them, they wanted Jesus. Yeah. Because if they stopped Jesus, they wouldn't have to worry about them. That's why I told you all the time that whenever you take Jesus out of the church, church really is over. So he first followed, he was hot. Mm -hmm. But then he followed from behind. Okay. Staying on the outside. Yes. Some of us not going, I ain't judging, but some of us are not going forward, but we're going backwards. Oh, man. The devil know that if he can get you caught up in your feelings, yeah. y'all quiet. Yeah. But if he can get you caught up in your old feelings, yeah. he can make you quit every aspect of the church. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Start out you in some everything. Uh -huh. Don't complete nothing. Oh, yeah. As soon as something don't go your way, uh -huh. you ain't going to do it no more. Uh -huh. And what that really does is causes you to not feel committed. Y'all ain't saying that. Yeah. If you ain't got the usher, then you ain't got to be there. Right. Y'all better get there. Right. If right. you ain't got to sing, then you don't have to be there. Right. If you're not going to do anything, then, then you don't have to be there. And, and once you stop being there, you're on the outside. You're following yeah. from the distance. And I want to tell you of a saying that things will get cold. Y'all ain't saying right. You know when we talk about uh, he's a present help in times of trouble, that's only if you got him. And if you got him, you you don't want to please him. Yeah. How, there's no way to believe that you can please God being attached to his ministry and not doing anything. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Amen. Amen. The devil wants you to just be a spectator. Uh -huh. This ain't no spectator sport. Right. You've seen some of the football games you look at and you got 20 something players I think on the field and maybe 20,000 people in the stands. All right. the people on the field just running, <coughs> getting hit. <laughs> Y'all ain't saying that. Uh -huh. Getting capital. Uh -huh. Getting out. <laughs> Come on, preacher. <laughs> on the booty. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> Folk in the stand, come out, run, run, run. Y'all ain't <laughs> He's going that way. <laughs> Why do you believe him got set? Why didn't he just do it all? He's going to do it all. <laughs> That's the people in the stands. Yeah. <laughs> Who ain't ran nowhere. All right. <laughs> Some of them old walkers gone in the stand. <laughs> and upset. <laughs> With the people that's on the field. Amen. That's how some of us are in church. We just in the stand spectate. Mm -hmm. Saying the choir could have done that. Yes. Pastor wasn't preaching nothing. Y'all ain't saying that. He shouldn't have said that. He should have been finished. Y'all ain't saying that. But you just in the stands. The reality is, you can complain all you want. My Lord, my Lord. I remember some years ago when I sneaked out to the dog track with my family. Oh, no. And uh, <laughs> there was a man in a wheelchair. And I was out there telling the four dog, go, four, go. And he said, uh, y'all even said that, y'all looking at me like y'all <laughs> The dog track is. 
I get a dog check. <laughs> and, and, and I said, go, oh God. And old Joe in the wheelchair and told me he can't hear you, baby. <laughs> Is not 
not going to let you get all the way wrong. Amen. But somewhere there's always a trick. All right. Jesus had forewarned Peter mm -hmm. that the devil desired to have him. Amen. How best can the devil get you that you standing with the enemy? Right. Y'all better get that. Right. He stood with them. They made coals of fire because it was cold out there. All right. And Peter standing with them hoping to blend in. And, 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 and it's, it's something because uh, the Bible had already said that Peter had cut off the high priest and servants did. Yeah. And so this had to be something that this crowd did not see. Yeah. Else it would have been easy to identify Peter as being with Jesus. Right. Have you done anything that makes it obvious that you are his disciple? Come on, right. Yeah, in John the 13th chapter Brown verse 35. Uh -huh. Jesus did say, by this shall men know that you are my disciples. Yeah. Yeah. Uh-huh. By your love, one for another. Yeah. Yeah. But it also said, yeah, in the latter day, the love of many will wax cold. Yeah. Yeah. We got to be living in that time. Yeah. Yes, Peter was standing with the enemy and trying to get warm by the enemy's fire. Yes, when it get cold, you don't care how you get warm. Y'all understand that? When it get cold, you don't care how warm you try to get some heat. Yes, you can try to get high and hope that you can forget about it. Y'all understand that? Get you some new friends and hope that that'll make everything all right. But when you need the Lord, y'all ain't saying nothing. It's going to be cold. Going to be cold in your heart. And going to be cold all around you. Have you ever been in a crowd and still felt lonely? Have you ever had everything you needed and still just wanted something? Y'all ain't saying nothing. When it get cold, yeah, you can't feel the joy of the presence of the Lord. I don't want to be cold, but I want the Lord to stay in my heart. I want the Lord to touch my body, touch my mind, touch my soul, and touch my heart.
backed away from him. He said, I'm married to the past life. He said, whosoever will, let him come. Yeah. Oh! When it's cold, sometimes pride will set in. And you can think everything is all right. Sometimes, sometimes, when the devil gets us where he wants us, he'll leave us all alone. The Bible says, another one came to Peter and said, I saw you in the garden. I know you want to hear this sign. Peter lied again and said, I don't know the man. Yeah. That's why they 
saw Jesus. They thought he was the God. Because they could not see him. Because he was glorified. They were not able to see him. And when it gets cold, you can't see him. Sometimes he's speaking to you, but you can't see him. Sometimes he sent somebody out of the house, you can't see him. He sent somebody on the job, you can't see him. Even in the church house, you can't see him. Oh. 